Mad Alliance was howling because Joe, aka Mad at Joe FC. This is going to be my reaction interview for season one, episode 25 of Guru and Lagon. Kick back, chillax. Let's get it. Spiral power is absorbed and converted into mass. Therefore, the more spiral power we use, the denser this region becomes. So that's why it looks like a sea. If we were to sink into its depths, not even Super Galaxy Daiguran would survive. Meaning we'll be crushed flat by the water. No, the space pressure. This cannot be happening. Leave it to me, Dayaka. See, the key here is Come to rev up the engines faster than the energy can be drained. Our power is limitless, just as long as our hearts don't give in. Output is increasing. Raise the bow! Take us up! Aye, aye, take us up! Yes! Enemy units are now entering the sea. They're moving in our direction. No, son. Intercept them! Hartenboro, switch to live ammo! You got it! Chew on this! Ho <laughs> ho! The missiles are working! But there's too many of them! Yeah, they're still getting through. No! It looks like they're trying to force us down to the bottom of the sea! Isn't there anything we can do to shake them off? Before you are the countless spiral warriors who have faced the anti-spirals in battle throughout time. So, uh, does this mean that a bunch of other guys besides us were able to make it this far? That is exactly what it means, foolish people of the spiral. Do not delude yourselves into believing that you are special. Now behold, the history of the spiral race's defeat. So this has happened many times You're over. You are in the galactic spiral abyss, the spiral graveyard. High order energy detected in the deepest area. We're being slowly pulled in. The death spiral machine. That is what is generating this field that has enveloped us. We killed that many logons? This space ocean is where the tears of the spiral races end up. We can't let the anti-spirals have things their way. They gotta break this loop of the, the spiral of illusions. that fell in battle. Taking all their regrets. We'll take it all in and turn it all into strength. Point the bow towards the core. What have you got in mind? What else? We'll fly down this death spiral machine's throat and destroy it. I mean, come on. Isn't that the way Team Daikuren rolls? Good point. For better or worse, we've always rolled the dice on that drill Let's of Simones. Up until now. And on to the very end. The Death Spiral Machine is surrounded by a region of ultra-dense space. A spiral conversion field surrounds the machine, reaching out in all directions. <laughs> this field protects the machine by absorbing all mass and converting it into spiral power. A massive dose of spiral power would disrupt the absorption process and cause a localized collapse of the field. So we lob in as many spiral missiles as we can into the gap, and that's the end of that machine. What was that? We've got flooding in Block 5826. There's flooding? Don't forget, we're taking on ultra-dense space. So we're not actually flooding here, we're sort of spacing. Close those bulkheads! Don't let any more space get in! So that's what it is. It's not really a sea, it's just it's really, really dense space. You don't need to tell us. You know it's crazy. Ah! Simon! What happened? Don't worry. I can handle it. We place it ASAP. We don't have much time here. Papa! Papa! What do you want, little pig mole? You want to come inside? All right, all right. What? I 
can't believe it. What the? How's Buta able to? Whoa! What happened? This little pig mole is a bundle of spiral power. Okay, Buta. Your and Logon can now operate in tandem. Buta, keep it up. After all, pal, you're a Team Daikuren member too. <laughs> Buta has spiral power too. Humans are not the only spiral life forms. Perhaps it underwent a mutation, or it's reacting to Simon's power. In any event, it has stored up massive spiral power within itself. Okay. Enemy is now within firing range! Fire! Get it. The missile didn't make it? But we ran strength calculations. Was the intensity of the conversion field higher than we calculated? Later. Hold on, Yoko. Sorry, but this one is mine. Later. Load the Super Spiral missile onto my Space King Kita. What did you say? It'll be faster and more reliable than changing out the missile casings. That's what you had in mind, right? Let's go, Kita. <laughs> Okay. So I kind of saw this coming. I thinking of myself like always. Thanks. You're doing this because you want to. I can't stop you. Do the impossible, see the invisible. Row, row, fight the power. Touch the untouchable, break the unbreakable. Row, row, fight the power. That's it. Now fire! Fire the missile! Crap! I think I'm the bus now! Did he do it? No, the death spiral machine is still intact. Keaton, you died for nothing, you stupid bastard. Not so fast. What's the energy reading? Judging from its size, it's the gunman that was inside the space gunman. King Keaton is yeah. dead and ready to go. Whoa. I Whoa. borrowed one of Guren Logon's drills as a good luck charm. And believe me, I'm gonna put it to good use. Kitan! Oh, oh. Come on, Kitan! So this is the power of the spiral. Not bad, not bad at all. <laughs> He went at like a true champ. I give it to him. With the destruction of the death spiral machine, this dark sea is being converted back into spiral energy. It is the logical outcome. You could have mentioned that before. The super spiral gauges are climbing. Ten thousand, a hundred thousand, one million. Whoa! Simone, go for it! Kitana, I accept your last wish. I have the power. <laughs> okay, Vera, Buta, let's do this. It's about to happen. It's finally time to transform. It's finally going that? to. Now let's do it. Oh, yeah. Dreams are etched into its body, transforming the ultra spiral super dreadnought in heaven and earth. One machine 
equal to the gods! Super Galaxy! Guren Logan! Oh my god! We're gonna show you the power of the human race! Super Galaxy Guren Logan. I, I think I said it before about another transformation, literally the episode before this one. But I think that was the best, most incredible Gurren Lagon transformation I have seen. That look. That was incredible. And what Keaton did was also incredible. And it was, it was, it was almost just like Kamina, you know, another main character is gone. And thing is, I remember like. It was either the third or fourth episode where Keaton and his sisters, uh, you know, the black siblings, where they were introduced. And it felt, for me, it felt like it was just going to be this one-off thing where, you know, we just see them in this one episode. And they even left and went their own ways. But then they came back and they've been here throughout the entire show. And Keaton has really, really, really grown on me. He is one of my favorite characters in the show. And to see him go, I mean, it wasn't as sad as Kamina's death. I mean, I am sad that Keaton is gone. You know, he was one of my favorite characters in the show. But Kamina's death, it was, it was a whole different thing. Keaton's death, we saw this coming. You know, like Kamina's death, we didn't see that coming. Keaton's death, we saw that coming. He knew he was going to die we all saw this coming in like the last one or two minutes before it happened and we knew that he was going to go out like a champ. So, you know, it's just more of a thing for me where, you know, I'm happy the way that Keaton went out. He went out like a champ, so I'm not as upset about his death as I am with um, Kamina's death. And uh, like Keaton said to, I can't remember the kids' names. I know the girl's name is Dari. I can't remember the uh, boy's name, but like it was telling the kids, uh, I can't remember these two guys' names either, but the two guys who sacrificed themselves the last episode uh, to save the kids, they did that because they wanted to, so he was telling the kids they don't need to feel like they owe them, and then the kids, you know, kind of did the same thing to uh, Keaton. They were saying, we, we're helping you and Yoko because uh, we want to, so let us help and Keaton put in the drill into the what was it called the abyss I guess him doing that and sacrificing himself he did that because he wanted to they're doing this you know sacrificing themselves and stuff because it's what they want to do I'm glad the whole sea and space thing was cleared up for me too because I was just as confused as team Gurren at the beginning of how that is actually possible but so basically it's, it's not really a sea or water or anything at all it's just really dense physical looking space I guess and so you know since it was so dense and stuff he was able to uh, break through the Art Guru and Lagon and Buta he came in clutch he really 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 came in clutch this episode so basically what from what I heard is that Buta is pretty much always with Simone. So all the times that Simone has been in Gurren Lagan and, you know, the transformation stuff has happened, Buta's been with them. Buta's been storing up that spiral of energy all this time. And so not only humans can harness it, but I guess other living things within this area when, you know, the spiral of energy is happening, the transformation of the gunmen is happening. So Buta had all that energy stored up in him since like from the beginning and years and years ago when you know Simon was younger and stuff and he was uh doing the transformations and stuff. He's had all this energy stored up from like seven plus years and he was able to use all that to help Simon and Vera with the transformation of Super Galaxy Guru and Lagon. So Buta really, really came in clutch. Now we just have two episodes left and I'm very very excited to see this climax, them take on the anti-spirals finally, and see how this all ends.
This is my reaction and review for season one, episode 25 of Guru and Ligon. If you all enjoyed my video, let me know what you thought. Links are on my social media will be down below in the description box, along with the link to my Patreon. So that if you want to, you can pledge and you'll get early access for all my reactions to the latest episodes of any shows that I watch. Matt, smash the like button. Share this video with anyone you feel would enjoy. If you are new around here and you like what you see, tap the subscribe button and ding dong the notification bell to join the Mad Alliance on our journey to 100,000 subscribers. My name's Joe, aka Mad Joe of C. I hope you all have a marvelous day. Mad out.